How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught. If the mountain 
Good morning, everybody. What a great time of worship. We all want to thank all of you in the worship team that helped us worship together this morning. Well, today is a great day to celebrate mom. It's Mother's Day. It's a day we all appreciate our mothers. And it's a day we also want all of you who are moms to know how much we love you and appreciate you. The scripture has so much to say about moms, especially in the book of Proverbs. And here at St. James Church, we focus on studying the scriptures. Actually, we do that since the quarantine. Every weekday morning at 10 in the morning, we have a Zoom discussion format study on the scriptures. You would be welcome to join us. And then every Wednesday night, we have a Zoom discussion format Bible study that's really good. You would be welcome to join us. And to know what scripture we're going to be studying, we have a list here, the Bible Highlights booklet, that on the inside, it lists a scripture, a chapter for each day that we study. Now, I know last week I told you that if you would write me, I would send you a copy of this Bible Highlights booklet and so that you could have it and be able to join us for Bible study. Well, Last Sunday afternoon, I went ATVing with some friends and had an accident, and so I haven't been in the office all week this week. So if you wrote asking for the Bible Highlights booklet, or if you sent me a text or a phone call or, or uh, sent me an email, uh, we'll get that answered this week. If you didn't do that and would like a copy of the Highlights booklet, the Bible Highlights booklet, you can either uh, send me a text at my personal cell phone number. That's 719-338-0079. Or you can send me an email. That's easy. It's tedhaggard7 at aol.com. That's T-E-D-H-A-G-G-A-R-D-7 at AOL dot com. And of course, you can always write us here at the church, 4615 North Park Drive. My office is Suite 203, Colorado Springs, Colorado, 80918. We'd be happy to send you the Bible Highlights booklet. Make sure you've got it. And then you can come and join us at any of the Zoom Bible studies, either every weekday morning, 10 o'clock Mountain Time, or you can come on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock Mountain Time. And the way to do it is you just go to Zoom US, zoom.us. That's Z O O M dot US. And then when it says uh, you select the option, join a meeting. And then when you join the meeting, the code is my phone number. I've already given it to you, 719-338-0079. That's the code for the Zoom Bible study meeting Monday through Friday or the Zoom Bible study meeting at 7 o'clock on Wednesday nights, all of that mountain time. You'd be welcome to join us and discuss the Bible with us. It's a wonderful thing. Well... During the month of May, uh, we're studying the book of Proverbs. It's all the way, there are 31 days in May. And so every day we study the Proverbs. And today is Mother's Day. So I just went through the Proverbs and got a few of the Proverbs that talk about moms. And so here in Pro, and we use the New Living Translation. Okay, so in Proverbs 1, 8 and 9, it says, My child... Don't neglect your mother's instruction. Now, if you'll think about it, all of you, if you'll think about it, your mother had maybe seven or 12 primary messages that are in every one of us. If you'll think about that or discuss it with your wife or your buddies or your friends or whoever and say, what were some of the primary messages from our mother? You'll find out that the primary messages from your mom were all good messages. Now, all of you moms, if they don't remember what those messages are, I'm sure you'll be competent to remind them. And so it's so important that moms, they have this, they have this maternal instinct that they love their children. They want their children to prosper. They want their children to do well. And so it's a wonderful thing to be able to trust your mom and get those primary messages from her. What you learn from your mother will crown you with grace. That means crown you with favor. 
crown you with acceptability, crown you with advancement, crown you with blessing, crown you with grace, and be a chain of honor around your neck. Are you tired of people disrespecting you? Are you tired of people taking you for granted? Reflect on what your mother said and start doing it. I know it'll be things like mind your manners. It'll be things like brush your teeth. It'll be things like make your bed. It'll be things like clean up after yourself. And as you learn those disciplines, learn to read a book, do your studies, grow in maturity. As you do those things, let responsibility come into your life. Well, this will happen. You'll be crowned with grace. You'll have a chain of honor around your neck. People will start to respect you more. In Proverbs 6, 23, 20 through 23, it says, My son, don't neglect your mother's instruction. Keep her words always in your heart. In other words, think about them. And that's why I say, think about the primary messages from your mother. Write them down. There, it won't be that many. Maybe seven, maybe 12, maybe 10. I don't know. But put those together or get on the phone with your siblings and say, what were mom's messages to us that were positive and uplifting? All right, here it says, it says, keep her words always in your heart. Tie them around your neck. In other words, remember them, write them down. When you walk, her counsel will lead you. All right, I've been in ministry for over 40 years. I've done a lot of funerals. I can tell you what happens. When we're burying mom, the kids get up and they share the things they remember mom saying. So mom, your words are more important than you know. Your prayers are more important than you know. One time I was speaking to four or 5,000 college students at a university, a Christian university, and I just noticed bubbles over certain students. I, I was seeing it spiritually. I didn't know what it was. And it was the most fascinating thing. Some of them had a bubble over them. Others of them didn't. I got back to my hotel room and I started to pray, Lord, what was, I, what was that? What was I seeing? And the Lord spoke into my heart and he says, you were seeing the prayers of the parents. Listen, there is nothing I don't think more powerful a woman or a man of God can do than pray for their children. And here when the Bible says, when you walk, her counsel will lead you well, so were her prayers. Think about what your mom prayed for you and answer those prayers. Think about what your parents prayed for you and answer those prayers. If they weren't praying people, think about what their hopes were for you and fulfill those hopes. Here's why. When you sleep, their counsel will protect you. When you wake up, their counsel will advise you. For her command is a lamp. What's a lamp do? It makes it so you know where you're going. And her instruction is a light. What does light provide? Light makes sure you're not stumbling around in the darkness with your life. Her corrective discipline is a way of life. So do you remember the times when you made your mom mad? And do you remember the times when you disobeyed her? And she said, you shouldn't be out past midnight. Nothing good happens past midnight. If she said that, hmm, I'll bet you're going to find out that it was true. And so just think about your mother in that way. In Proverbs 10, 1, it says, a foolish child brings grief to a mother. Here's what I've learned through the years. For most Christian moms, they're only as happy as their most unhappy child is. And it's because your mother wants the very best for you. Your mother prays for you. Your mother's invested in you. She's sacrificed for you. And you are a fool if you cause grief to come to her heart. What that means is you never gained wisdom. You never thought about the principles of life. And if you never think about the principles of life and you violate your own mother's instructions, then you're a fool. All right, so let's say you've been a, pa a few fool for the past several years. Well, today's Mother's Day. Maybe this is the day you can switch from being a fool to being wise. Maybe this is the day you can switch from being self-centered into being thoughtful. Maybe this is the day you can switch from being uh, spontaneous in what you do and hurting other people's lives and being wise and gracious and thoughtful in what you do so that you don't hurt other people's lives, but you become a pillar of strength. You become a blessing. You become uh, somebody that others can trust. Here it says in Proverbs 15, 20, foolish children despise their mother. 
I know some of you had great moms, others of you didn't have such great moms. Most moms don't think they were so great. Most moms uh, uh, think they failed in raising their children. But listen, even moms that really struggle in life that I've observed, unless something is really strange, moms sacrifice greatly for their children. So if you've grown up and you despise your mother, it's in you and it's on you and you have the ability to honor her and you have the ability to be grateful for her. Let's say she made some mistakes in life. You have the ability to pray for her. You have the ability to be the strength for her, but just don't despise her. I was in a counseling session one time and the therapist was absolutely determined to get me to find the faults in my mom or dad. They were Freudians and they insisted that for any of the difficulties in my life, it had to be a violation from my mom or my dad. And because of these scriptures, I refused to dishonor my mom and dad. I refused to say any of the things that I noticed that were disappointing or hurtful in my life. And I'm not going to do it. I am not going to go there. Maybe my mom and dad weren't so perfect all the time. And maybe that's God's business, not mine. Maybe it's my business to honor them and thank God for them and be a blessing to them and be a strength to them. In Proverbs 17, 6, it says, parents are the pride of their children. If parents are honorable, the children brag about them. I don't like it nowadays where the sitcoms make the mom and the dad kind of foolish and giggly and they're just, actually, they're just grown up, they're, they're kids in an adult's body. No, mom and, moms and dads need to be honorable. They need to be respectful. They need to keep themselves well so their children can be proud of them. They need to dress up. If they're going to go to a basketball game or a football game or a soccer game, they need to walk on the field with honor and respect. They need to show up with a car that's clean. They need to show up in a way that their child can be proud of them. So you moms, the vast majority, we're so proud of you and we're thankful for you. And if you need a little nudge on this Mother's Day morning to say, okay, time to get up and go a little bit and time to live life a little bit, don't be entitled but be a woman worthy of respect. Be a woman worthy of honor. In Proverbs 20, 20, it says, if you insult your father or your mother, your light will be snuffed out in total darkness. It's just the way God views parents. We're wise when we honor our parents. We're, we're wise when we respect them. Proverbs 23, 22 says, don't despise your mother when she is old. Your mother, during the strength of her life, devoted her life to caring for you, at least for the vast majority of you. And so when she gets old and frail, maybe a little more needy, don't despise her. You're going to be old and frail one day. That is, unless you insult your mother and your father and your life is snuffed out when you're young. But if you honor your mother and your father and you don't despise them when they're old, that will serve you well all your life. It will build a character in you and a strength in you that's honorable. In Proverbs 23, 25, it says, so give your mother joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. So think about it. It's Mother's Day. What can you do to make your mom happy? What can you do to be a blessing to her? Is it a phone call? Is it flowers delivered? Is it paying a bill for her? Is it writing her a note that I guess she would read over and over and over again? And after she goes home to heaven, you'll find out that she treasured the letter you wrote on this Mother's Day for many decades or for many years. See, it's just worth it for us to decide to honor people. In this society where dishonor and speaking truth to power and dishonoring those in authority and humiliating our parents and disobeying our parents is so in vogue, it's not serving us well. Instead, it's worthy for moms and dads to decide, I'm going to be an honorable man and I'm going to be an honorable woman for the moms and then for the children to say, I'm going to be respectful toward my parents. It will serve me well. In Proverbs 31, 28 and 29, it says, Her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. So I would encourage every one of you men and women that have a living mother, 
I would encourage you to bless her today. Every one of you men that has a mom for a wife, I would encourage you to uh, praise her. Praise her to your children. Praise her to your co-workers. Praise her to the neighbors. Pray, there's nothing more disgusting than a husband that thinks it's clever to put down his wife, the mother of his children. It's just not wise. But instead, on this Mother's Day, mothers, be honorable. Husbands, praise her. Children, honor her and respect her and cause her to have great joy. And if you'll put these ideas from Proverbs together, you will have much greater success and you will find yourself strong and stable more than you ever imagined. These are character qualities. They're conscious decisions that we make to cause life to work out well. Let's all pray together. Father, we thank you for all of the mothers on this Mother Day, Mother's Day celebration. And Lord, we bless them. We pray for them. We thank you for them. And Lord, we want to cause them great joy. And we want to cause them to be very, very pleased that they had their children, that they married the man that they married, and that their life is satisfying and full. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the young mothers that are, that are tired and working hard to keep up with their little infants. And Lord, we pray that you'd give them strength and wisdom and insight. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this Mother's Day. We thank you for the love you've given us for our mothers. And Lord, we thank you for the grace and the mercy you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen.